it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video guys here we are with top 10 times Bob Mortimer stole the show before we dive into this guys make sure y'all subscribe to the channel ring notification bell give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested I got social media patreon all up top you can subscribe to any of it put all the links in the description all you gotta do is hit the link follow me talk to me human I talk back I can't wait to see my boy Bob Mortimer it's absolutely incredible you got a favorite video suggestion drop it in that comment section or subscribe to patreon what we got Bob on a lighter note I once stayed at Anthony Turner's house and hit I took the bath panel off and hid under the bath just say it <laughs> ah! welcome to watch Mojo UK and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Bob Mortimer Stole the show. We want we <laughs> You set you, you set this up for me wrong. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the long grand career of the iconic comedian and picking out his best appearances and jokes on TV shows. Which moment of Bob Mortimer's career is your favourite? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Pocket meat. This is probably this. one of the few times the term pocket meat is literal and not a gross innuendo. I once helped Damon Hill to Grand Prix success by presenting him with a pre-race snack. During Would I Lie to You, where panellists tell tales and the others have to guess if it's true or not, the highlight reel himself, Bob Mortimer, spoke about the time he met racing driver Damon Hill around 1996. 1996, David, but I'm not willing to exclude four years either side of that. <laughs> Mortimer confessed that whenever he's away from the house, he has a bit of meat in his pocket that he can graze on. This time, it was a scotch egg. So your <laughs> gift to thank him for the hospitality was a scotch egg? No. Oh. I call it pocket meat. Whenever I'm out away from, whenever I'm away from the house, I have pocket meat. For good luck, he offered his breaded treat to Hill, <clears throat> who accepted. Hill, with the egg in his pocket, won the race. What makes this story even better is the fact it was true. I was telling I the truth. <laughs> I could not believe that. He tricked me on that. I, I was in shock. I was in shock that that was true. It was true. I was telling the truth. That's crazy. He just carried it around. <laughs> Number nine, East 17 Fox. Appearing well, we on the Big Fat <gasps> Quiz of the 90s in 2013, alongside Richard Ayoade, who may or may not appear later, Mortimer soon got onto a really bizarre story that could only happen to him. When his namesake, Tony Mortimer, from the band East 17 is brought up, Bob mentions their animal connection. We, we <laughs> once both got bitten by the same fox. We can only assume that the fox is a massive music fan and travels the country for festivals. When questioned how he knew it was the same fox, Mortimer, getting in touch with his inner Praro, clears it up by saying the furry creature had a very unique teeth pattern. Because it had a very unique bite. What's teeth pattern? Thank you. It's teeth pattern. As opposed to the other fox bites that you received. Number eight, custards. <laughs> I swear to God, he had a very unique teeth pattern as opposed to the other fox, bite, fox bites you received. Like, how do you know? I love Bob, the other bro. Fox bites that you received. <laughs> Number eight, custard selling. Struggling to make custard, Ross Noble called in backup in the form of Bob Mortimer. Soon, Mortimer jokes about wearing a trilby if he knew why Noble had brought him down. And like a good egg, Noble got someone to pick up a couple for him and Mortimer. Oh, my <laughs> kitchen trilby! <laughs> After getting really excited by the large milk containers, finishing making the custard and giving it to students, the pair decided to take their product to the rough streets of Royal Tunbridge Wells. With a slight mm. twist, it would be fired at customers, whether they were willing or not, via water pistols. After covering most of the local population in custard, Mortimer disappears into the daylight with the custard dispensing weapons like some kind of vigilante. We're feeding people that 
looked like they needed. We're feeding people so they'll be alive to watch comic relief. <laughs> yeah. Next year. Number seven, Catastic. On social media, <gasps> Mortimer has a habit of giving unique names to creatures great and small, Aww. like Tender Gary, Buttery Paul, Long Rodney, and so on. Later on. What? <laughs> Which your cat name clear? It's Zach Parliament, Gary Venue, Buttery Paul, Long Rodney, Papa Handwash. <laughs> On, he ended up making <laughs> oh all the kind names and providing some of the profits towards the charity Cats Protection. Some of the profits Such from that goes to wildness. Cats Protection. Well, with that promotion, Cats that. Protection had to bring him in for a video where he hangs out with their felines and provides them with more unusual names. I've been naming some cats that are looking for homes and there's some beautiful ones to choose from. After that, DJ they Lovely. brought him back once again. Dressed in fishing gear, Mortimer tells us the tale of Licorice Mick and his various uniquely named chums. This was all in aid of promoting black cats, which are often overlooked at adoption shelters. The kittens, mm. of course, were just acting daft, including, but not limited to, Bubbles McParty, Tender Gary and Don Toffee. Number six, Fight Night. <laughs> Bro, I just don't understand where my boy Bob gets his uh, name from. Where my boy Bob gets his name I from, I'll Tender never Gary understand. and Don Toffee. Number six, Fight Night. Every year, celebrities go above and beyond to bring in donations from the public for sports relief. Bob was and fighting! back in 2002, Mortimer was one such celeb. He was booked what? to battle Coronation Street and extras performer Les Dennis in a boxing match. I wouldn't mind... Uh... No, I don't want anyone to die. After a dramatic <laughs> and often funny intro involving how the two prepared for the fight of their lives, we got down to business in the ring. Mortimer was the underdog, since Dennis was much larger than him. <laughs> okay, Bob! Okay, Bob! However, he managed to keep going by dodging and running away at appropriate times. With both still standing at the final bell, we went to the judges' scoring. In the end, with split judges, Mortimer's hand was raised as the winner. Yeah. Yeah. That's my boy Bob! That's my guy Bob! Number 5, Series Gold. Oh, in 2017, Mortimer task, signed up to be in Series 5 of the comedy panel show Taskmaster. The shooting star's icon found creative solutions for every task. As such, Mortimer obviously won the whole thing against Ashley B, Nish Kumar, Sally Phillips and Mark Watson. As for his best moment, well, there were too many to choose from. There was yes. the car boot special cuddle with Alex Horn, the angry business coconut, <laughs> and the amazing banana peeling <laughs> video. Oh, I didn't get to see that one. But the creme de la creme was the graph. Mortimer told a tale of having a disagreement with a boat owner and decided to fill their boat with urine. I thought, I'll fill his boat with... <laughs> so after some research, he discovered which counties produced the most, and it's eye-opening. Oh, they literally can't stop. <laughs> Number four, Whisk Issue. So I didn't Winters see that one, but yeah, he was an absolute perfect for Taskmaster. Like, oh my gosh, bro. I couldn't stop laughing. I could, I, I literally could not stop laughing at Bob on Taskmaster. <laughs> Number four, Whisk Issue. Sunday brunch is a nice relaxing show to take in as you get over the shock from the night before. And whenever Mortimer shows up, you know you're in for a treat. In 2018, he appeared alongside his long-term comedy partner, Vic Reeds. As the two were in the midst of following a recipe, all Bob had to do was use an electric whisk to mix up some ingredients. Instead, the metal whisks kept falling out of the device. It's perfect, accidental comedy gold. I'm sorry I'm doing the wrong button. I'm doing They're the going to be a bit chunky, Simon, right? Mortimer, trying to keep going on live TV, grabs one of the whisks that there fell out go. and aggressively uses it. Quickly, he go. regretted his choice when a hand whisk was offered to him. <laughs> Number three, Carpet Dance. In 2015, a bunch of celebs signed up to help encourage the audience to raise cash for comic relief. For them, huh. they got to play darts, and they all took on dart personas. Yet Mortimer seemed to be the most devoted to his character, 
He went by the name Bobby Carpets Mortimer. Bob, tell us how you got to become Bobby Carpets Mortimer. <laughs> well, it's just through my love of carpets, really. <laughs> <laughs> he chose the name because he's fed up with seeing tiles and laminate flooring. He wanted to promote the fabric underdog. During one match, Mortimer came out clutching a roll of carpet and wearing a mismatched carpet top and carpet mask, complete with an upsetting face on it. <laughs> he then got the crowd involved with a chant against Laminate. While he didn't win the tournament, he won the people's hearts. Uh, Rip up your lamp. Well, Bob would Bob would literally win anybody's heart, bro. He could he could win over any crowd, any audience, bro. Bob is is just one of the funniest guys that that have walked this earth. He's one of the. Funniest. Finally, didn't win the tournament. He won the people's hearts. Uh, Rip up your laminates and let's put some carpet down. <laughs> if anything comes from this. <laughs> Number two, out of date. In 2019, Mortimer popped up in Hamburg, Germany for Richard Ayoade's tourist show, Travel Man. Ayoade went all out for this special guest by taking him to the German Museum of Additives. Hello. 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 Two tickets, please. Yep, a place that showcases the different chemicals added into food, drink and whatnot. With a personal oh, tour, wow. Mortimer and Ayoade try their best to not giggle at the term morning sausage. The morning sausage is sort of morning traditional sausage. morning sausage. <laughs> Breakfast. Yes. Afterwards, they get to taste the additives and see what effects they have. <coughs> However, each of them was many years out of date. Uh oh. Ooh. As such, the additives' effects weren't acting as well as they should be. By the end, Mortimer states his mouth is numb, just like being at a dentist. Wow, that's got a kick! Number 1. Train Guy Saga In 2019, Mortimer captured the experience of anyone who uses public transport with the Train mm. Guy on social media. You've all seen and heard Mortimer's parody in the wild. Well, I'm all ready to, uh, you know, take it to the next level right up into the business sky. You're going to join me there, I hope, yeah. Some guy on the train talking loudly about his work whilst <laughs> using dated expressions they learned from teenage relatives years ago. <laughs> And during the lockdown, Mortimer gave us familiar memories of the outside world when he kept uploading new videos of the train guy. Hilario, yeah, that's because I went to law college. This series has provided us with splendid oh expressions gosh. like idea biscuits, kappa choo choo, inspiration sprinkles, and many, many more that we've decided to use daily. Then we got to check out the train saga. Is that they got a they got a compilation of the train saga? I'd like to see that. Sprinkles and many, many more that we've decided to use daily. Then Mortimer introduced new characters when he got the iconic Matt Berry to be Jeff Linton. <laughs> All right, shut up. Shut up, it's the Lintonator. Do you agree with our picks? The Check out this other recent clip <laughs> from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. I absolutely love that. That's all we got for this one. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. I got social media and Patreon all up top. You can subscribe to any of it. Put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible team on YouTube. See you, Dinia. Out.